is Nick with logos by Nick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these letter logos using Inkscape. So I'll get started here in Inkscape by the way if you'd like to know how you can update the software's appearance with this dark theme and these new icons that I've designed. I'll put a link to that information in the description of the video. Otherwise we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is set up our document properties. So we'll go to file document properties. Uh, we're, want, we're gonna want the display unit sets to uh, pixels for PX. And I'm just going to turn off the visibility of the page border and we can close out of that. Then we want to go to view, make sure we have custom selected, zoom in at one to one, open up the align and distribute menu with this button right here. We're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down, And then we'll go to edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke to open up that menu right there. So the first thing we want to do is create a circle. So I'm going to grab the circles and ellipses tool and I'll hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly round circle like that. And what I'll do next is I'm just going to grab the, uh, the select tool. I'm going to convert this to a path by going to path, object to path, and I'm going to bring the opacity of this down about in half, something like that. And up here where it says width and height or W and H, I'm going to turn on the lock icon beneath those two input fields to lock the proportions. And I'm gonna change the width to 300. So I'm just gonna type in 300 and hit enter. And that's gonna make it 300 by 300 width and height. And what I wanna do next is duplicate this circle. So I'll right click it and go to duplicate. And I'll make this duplicate copy half the size. So that would be 150. 150, hit enter. And I just wanna center these up now. So I'm just gonna click and drag over both of them to select them both. And I'm going to center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis. And what I'll do next is I'll click off of the graphic to deselect and everything. And what we want to do is come up here to this, uh, to the top of your screen over here, where we have this snapping menu. I want to turn on snap to paths, snap to path intersections, uh, snap cusp nodes. That's already turned on for me. If it's not, go ahead and turn it on and snap smooth nodes. I'm going to turn all four of those on right there. And once I've done that, I'm going to take this smaller circle in the middle. I'll right click that and go to duplicate. And I'm going to hold control and, and click and drag this bottom arrow down here and just bring it down until the bottom of it snaps to the bottom of the circle right there. And there you notice it snapped right onto there. That's just what we're looking for. And what we want to do now is just lower that beneath the smaller circle. So I'm going to click this button that says lower selection one step. Click that once and then grab this smaller circle in the center here. And I'm just going to make this green for now. And what I'll do next is I'll just click off of that to deselect everything. So what I want to do next is create a rectangle. So I'm going to grab the uh, squares and rectangles tool and I'm just going to click and drag to create a rectangle that's higher than it is wide like that. And then I'll go to the select tool. Uh, I want to make the, I want to make the width of this half the width of the circle. So that would be 150 again. Change this to 150. And now what I can do is I'm going to take this bottom left corner over here and snap it onto this right side of the green circle. And then I'm going to take the bottom over here, this bottom arrow, and just click and drag that down so it extends past the entire graphic there. And I'll just bring this down a little bit because this is going to represent the top of the letter. Uh, I'm going to be creating the letter D for this logo. So this is like the, uh, the left side, the, I'm, I'm sorry, the right side of the letter right here. I'm going to make this maybe about this high. It doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and eyeball it and whatever looks best, go with that. I'm going to grab the rectangles tool, grab this node right here and just click and drag that all the way down like that. And then we can, we can uh, convert that to a path by going to path, object to path. And then I want to grab the, uh, the Bezier pen, which is over here. And I want to snap the cursor onto the bottom center of this new rectangle and click to create a point Then hold control and bring that line straight through all the way all the way to the top outside of the graphic and then click again. And now we can just let go of control and finish this graphic up going around the outside and snap it back to the starting point. I'll grab the select tool, hold shift, click on the green rectangle so we have them both selected and go to path, difference. And what I'll do now is I'll go back to the Bezier pen, snap to the right side of that circle right there, hold control, bring the line straight through like that and go ahead and click to create another point. And then we can let go of control and finish this line up going around the outside. Grab the select tool, hold shift, click on the, uh, the green shape here and go to path, difference. So what we wanna do next is uh, take this green circle here in the middle 
I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate. And then I'll hold shift and click on the, uh, the medium size circle beneath it and go to path difference. And then I'll click on the green circle, hold shift, click on the large black circle in the background and go to path difference. And what we could do now is take this green shape right here. I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate, hold shift, click on this new uh, little crescent shape down here that's resulted from what we previously did and go to path difference and then path break apart and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And then I'm going to just zoom in and grab this little piece right here and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. To zoom in and out, you could hold control and roll up and down the mouse wheel. And then I want to take this object right here, this green object, hold shift, click on this other object down here and unify them both together by going to path union. And I'll make that a different color just for now so you can differentiate it from the, uh, the black ring beneath it. And what I want to do now is just fill in this little area with this green shape. So to do that, I'm going to grab the Bezier pen and I'm going to snap to this corner and just create a shape going around the outside, snap to the bottom, the bottom point down here and finish this up going along the inside of the green shape and back to the starting point like that. Grab the select tool, click on this little circle, right click it, go to duplicate, hold shift, click on that object that we just drew. So we have them both selected and go to path intersection and then hold shift, click on the green object and go to path union. And I'm going to press one on the keyboard to zoom out to 100%. As you can see here, we have the basis for our logo design here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over everything and bring the opacity all the way up. And I'm going to start coloring this thing in using gradient. So let me click off of it to deselect. I'm going to take just this uh, green object right here. I'm going to make this red. And then up here in the fill tab, I'm going to click this button that says linear gradient to give that a linear gradient. And then I'll go to the gradient tool, which is over here. Keyboard shortcut is G. And I'm just going to click on this node, bring the opacity all the way up, and I'll make that yellow. So we have like a red to yellow gradient like that. And now with the gradients tool still selected, I'll click on the black circle over there. Click on the linear gradient button once again. And instead of creating the uh, gradient all over again, we have it already listed here, what we just created. So I'm just going to use that. Only for this one, I'll take the red stop and put this to the right. And I'll take the yellow stop and put this to the left, like that. Then I'll grab the select tool and click off it to deselect everything. And as you can see, we're pretty much finished. So that's how you can go about creating simple letter logos using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.